Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Vlogmas Day 19. <laughs> so I'm late to the game, of course, but um, I just wanted to say that uh, Merry Christmas. I just realized that yesterday was the week mark away from Christmas. So I apologize for not saying Merry Christmas yesterday, guys. I hope you thoroughly enjoyed that. You should have also gotten a fun little kind of like <laughs> surprise, like thank you or not thank you, like present video. The coffee hasn't kicked in yet, I apologize. Um, in case you didn't see yesterday's vlog, um, Jared and I are going to be live streaming our wedding. Sorry about the light, the light's being really weird. That just made it really worse. Oh well. Um, we're gonna be live streaming our wedding. Um, we're getting married January 5th at 3.30. We will be live streaming it on Periscope, Facebook, um, and here in YouTube here and so, well, at least we're gonna be trying we're gonna try our very very best um, to to do that uh, I think you can access my if I don't have my Facebook page in the description it's definitely you can also definitely get the link off of my website um, it's the same one for my Disney College program channel so if that helps um, I still got the sniffles but um it is extremely foggy outside and i'm going to go at open the advent calendar jared is sleeping right now so i don't want to wake him up we're gonna open up 19 and i'm not gonna break the door this time the last time i did it i broke the door oh yay <laughs> It's a little chip, and he's a turkey. Look how, look at him. He's got the two drumstick legs. Oh, my, oh that one's supposed to be so down. Uh-huh. He's got a little turkey leg, a little turkey wing. He's a turkey. Okay. I'm going to put him back now. So that way Jared can open it and be, have it be a surprise for him. And for mine... By the light of that same star, three wise men came country far. To seek for a king was their intent, and follow the star wherever it went. Noel, born is the king of Israel. He keeps eating in the background. I'm going to go put my face on, and I will see you guys in the car. so foggy outside between that and like my car not wanting to like defrost Ugh. I'm like I can't say where I'm going my Star Wars review movie review because I didn't really talk much about it yesterday um last night I'm not gonna lie didn't go according to my plan so again I had a little bit of a fit I'll admit when I'm wrong um but everyone ended up having a good time anyway. I waited until after we got home, and, I, and Jared and I ended up having a great night anyway. So he was really sweet, and it was fine. Um, anyway, the movie itself, um, I I don't think it was as good as Force Awakens. Like Jared and I, once I finally calmed down, we had time to sit and talk about the movie, and because um, afterwards we really didn't have much time to talk about it because we were like walking around Disney Springs doing other things 
but like I I liked it I did like it I, I I loved it it was a good Star Wars movie um but I don't think it was as good as The Force Awakens The Force Awakens as soon as it finished I wanted to go back and watch it again and which I did um I didn't have that feeling after this I had this feeling of like I'm, I'm not sure if they're gonna make another one or not they can make another one I feel like the way that they ended it but I feel like they ended it in a way of it's like just and they and the venture continued type of a thing um which honestly the Star Wars fan of me I hope that you know they actually do make another one because I love Star Wars movies bring them on um it's really hard to give a review of the movie without saying spoilers but I'm not going to I'm going to try my very best what the heck is going on up here there's like four five dump cars dump trucks on the side of the road down anyway um I, I can talk and drive so without giving any spoilers um my I'm gonna do two different kinds of videos um I'll do another one later with spoilers um because I do want to discuss the movie <laughs> um one of my favorite non-spoiler things was definitely the porgs and the crystal foxes. I'm really upset they didn't, or the salt foxes. I'm gonna call them crystals. Um, I'm really upset that they don't have any like little plush uh, crystal foxes because they were a part of the movie. They were almost, uh, they were, I guess they were just as much a part of the movie as the porgs were. Um, but I love the porgs. They're so freaking cute. Like if you like the porgs just from, if you don't know what porg is, it's a little like penguin duck looking bird creature um if you've been around disney and seen star wars merch you've seen them everywhere um and they're i don't want to say too much about them but like they they're 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 everywhere um where they are in the movie and they're so freaking cute um like literally the movie ended and I was like I want a pork I know I don't need another stuffed animal but I want one so badly they're so cute I, I love foxes and I love snow foxes even more and so the crystal foxes I fell in love with instantaneously I was like I want one I want one I want one um I I don't I'm not unhappy with any character choices or decisions I like the decisions that the two characters made like I like the direction they ended up doing with the characters um there's only a couple of movie editor things that from a film perspective that I didn't like that they did um but I didn't really I didn't really notice it until later um and I think, like, they kind of did it as, like, a, hey, look over here, look over here. Oh, psych, we're doing this. Um, they had a lot of, like, plot twists, which are fine. You know, it keeps you guessing, it keeps you guessing. But there were several scenes in the movie where I was like, why is this going to be relevant? Why is this going to be relevant? And then it ended up not necessarily being relevant. Um, it was, like, for character development or, you know, to build character for this character that didn't really need development. So, like, and I'm looking, like large portions of the movie and so <coughs> I mean again I was entertained but it's just one of those things where you sit back and it's like well I would have rather them talked more about this character gone more into depth with this question or more talk discussion about this or said you know what this person thought than gone into this particular character's character development or done this just to give this person a love interest love interest or whatever um I do like the new characters that they added in. I, I'm not saying that. Um, those who haven't seen the movie yet are probably like, what the heck are you talking about? I love the battle scenes. There was only one, there's two, there's a lot of battle scenes in the whole movie. Um, it's very much like war type of a thing. Um, but like, there were only, like a majority of the battle scenes I absolutely loved. Love the lightsaber battle, lightsaber battle scene. Um, there were a lot of cool moments where I was like, yeah, um, we saw it in 3d and there weren't too many like 3d jumps. Sorry about the light. Um, it's the sun, but like it was just a really cool effect, especially certain space effects. Um, I did cry. Um, I, but I didn't cry for the reasons that you would think I cried. I cried. Um, there's a moment. I'm not going to say anything 
spoilers, but there, let me just say there's a moment between Luke and Leia and it made, what was said made me sad because of Carrie Fisher's passing. Um, so that's all I'm going to say on that. I'm not going to say anymore. Um, but that made me tear up pretty much more than anything else. Oh, that. And then at the end of the movie, they like dedicate it to our princess. Um, and that also, that also made me sad. I'll see you guys in the park. Um, just because I talked about how I'm like worrying about things not going to plan. And then I did my devotional, my little video devotional before I got out of the car because it's nice and quiet and I'm all by myself and it talked about God being in control and I was like I feel like that's fitting I feel like that's one thing I need to actually get like tattooed not literally because I, I, I don't do needles um but like I feel like I have to like tattoo it or like do something I wish I should come up with like a symbol or something that I can just like draw on my hand subtly so like not many people will really be able to see it um, so it, like, no, they can know it's not permanent. Um, but, like, it'll be, like, a reminder to me. I don't know. I gotta think of something like that. I like things that symbolize things, like rings, necklaces. I like stuff like that, that you can feel or you can see, and it'll mean nothing to somebody else, but it means something to you. Anyway, there's a pigeon on that car. <laughs> it's not even 8.40 and the park opened already. I was expecting to have to, I was ready to get my ID out. Maybe it opened at 8. <laughs> Luckily, my attraction doesn't open at park opening. We have specific show times, thank God. Because I was like, what am I doing if I'm not opening yet anything? No, I'm probably opening something. We just aren't open yet. <laughs> On that note, guys, I will see you all in a sec. I get off at 6.70, no, 6.45. So it's not an eight hour shift. Non 10 hour shift, and we don't have a show at 6 30, so I don't know why I'm here till 6 45. Boom. So I got the privilege of hanging out outside during Disney Movie Magic. So not only did I get to watch the show, I got to kind of scope out where to get seats for us tomorrow because my family has never seen it. Jingle Bell Jingle Bam just ended. Woo. I've spent most of my breaks literally planning hour by hour what we're doing so and I literally it was like okay I'm gonna add us a buffer time and a buffer hour because I, it ended up being too close so we will see how tomorrow goes hopefully it will not be too busy um yeah <laughs> also every single show and I do mean every single show we had to like cut on showtime we had to cut on showtime so like we didn't end up having extra room for back during almost all day today it was crazy but we did a really good job at it we learned the quicker we can fill the shows the better because then we can learn how many seats we have or don't have and we can cut it on time Or do you need socks? Because I can give you headphones, but I do not have you socks. Yes, we're actually going to be. Uh, you never took these back. My what? My gloves. Those need to be washed. They're dirty. What is wow about you taking the keys on mine? I can take the keys. I got the keys. That way I can check the mail. Oil ready. I have my headphones. I have my phone. I'm gonna watch a little bit of Muppets. Muppets Christmas Carol. I'm dying. Did you like uh? Did I like? I was about to say that I was just about to ask. Did you open up the Sum Sum and you saw it was a turkey? Gobble gobble gobble. Turkey chip. Gobble gobble. I put him up there. I love Goofy. With above Goofy. Alrighty then, let's put on my shoes so we can go to work out and then we're gonna eat some pepper.